guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Diana. My name is Ashley. And we're back with another video. So this time we'll be taking you guys to one of New York City's iconic buildings. Okay guys, so we ran into, we came across this building. Actually, don't get confused because there's two addresses, but this is a real one. This is a real deal. It's here, but it's 66. Perry Street. Mm -hmm. So we were walking here and Diana put on the map 6 Perry Street. So we walked like 10 blocks back and forth. For no reason. And it, the building was under construction, the one that we did go to. But just so you guys know, when you guys come, there is a no trespassing sign. So unfortunately, you don't get the full experience, but you can't sit here. So we're gonna take pictures somewhere else and like do a little TikTok because here we really can't use this building for anything, and it doesn't even have the six six number up here. So it's super hot. I don't know how hot it is, but I'm sweating all over. And I have a whole turtleneck. Like this is this is crazy. But our inner fan girl is like screaming inside because this is everything. Yeah. I feel like in the winter it would be better, like with a fur coat, you're walking through here, you won't be as hot. And we didn't know where this was at, and now that we came here, we know like the area, like we've been down Familiar here Familiar with the months. area, exactly. So, yeah, so just... So it really is like a hidden gem. It li like, wow. Yeah, so when you're on Google Maps, search around, because you might be closer than you think to it, or you've been by it or something. Mm -hmm. The street might not look familiar, but I promise you the area is very familiar if you're a New Yorker, even if you're a tourist in New York. Well, we kind of dress, um, carry the brochures, part, we or whoever, because we... And, oh my god, I'm so just doing a video like showing each other. We're a little awkward because a lot of people keep passing by and we look like weirdos recording. Yes. This is harder than it looks. I'm so if you guys saw our past last video, then you guys know that New York is not the easiest place to record in. And then there's like a couple across the street waiting for us to finish. And that's just like yeah. making us a little bit anxious. Hopefully when you guys come or when, when someone else comes, there's there isn't a lot of people. Because like right now, there's like three people waiting across the street. And I mean, it's not that bad. I would expect it to be worse. We're so happy to be here and to bring you guys here too. Take care, guys. At this moment, I thought I was gonna pass out from the heat. <laughs> I 
what? This is pretty nice. We're gonna show you guys the view. So guys, we're back at home. Um, it was a pleasure taking you guys with us on a New York adventure. We had so much fun. The restaurant was my favorite part. Getting <laughs> to the to the apartment was a little hassle, and I got blisters and all that on my foot from the heels, cause you know only Carrie Brasha could do all that. Exactly, but you know what? We were living our inner Carrie today, so it was worth it. The food in the restaurant, ten out of ten literally 10 out of 10 like we had a three course meal the pita bread we went and got it mm -hmm. again it was did we bomb. oh yeah we did eat the second time yeah completely we got the um that's supposed to be an appetizer but after we had it we had our main course meal we asked for it again and we ate it so we ate a lot of bread a lot of bread so that means no bread for the rest of the week because you know what summer's over so who knows maybe we'll have the bread but um the dessert, amazing. I'm not sure what the name was, but it was like a coconut cake and it had like vanilla Cup, ice cream on top. It was like top. a coconut cupcake and then it had a vanilla ice cream on top. Mm -hmm. Bomb. Um, I had the salmon. We're going to insert clips, but I had the salmon. Really good. It was also spicy. Like the food there was spicy, but maybe that's just like the, like, you know, they like yes. to be heavy on spice, but so it was supposed great. supposed to be a Mediterranean restaurant, mm -hmm. which we thought was going to be, um... French. A French because mm -hmm. of the name. There was also a belly dancer, which will insert the clip without the music because we're not trying to. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, but she was very talented. We recorded her the whole time. Uh, was we'll show something small. Yes, she convinced us that we need to go do some belly dancing too. Yeah. But, you know. So if anybody knows any classes, I want to take some belly dancing classes next yes and we can even do that in some video if we do find one that is convenient for us and um yeah that was it we oh we saw carrie brashad's grandma <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, we saw an elderly lady that looked like her literally like her yeah it just was so like cute. her i for a second i was like what if that's her Honestly, like I feel like that's the life I want to live. Like now I'm convinced that I want to live in a brownstone. I mean, I've always loved them, but like I, it just that whole area, the aesthetic, the vibe is just. And the yeah. food is always good around that area. Like that's really my favorite area in New York. Like I've been there, be like we've been on the area, but we've never seen that those specific, exact, yeah. like the exact same spots. Or maybe I have and I just don't remember. But it was. Amazing. But it was yeah, it was beautiful. Like you know what it reminded me? It, you see when you guys are watching movies and the movies they're like the small city there's a small town and then the city part of the town that's what it looked like like it looked like a small town where everyone knows each other like that type of aesthetic type of vibe yeah and i always Beautiful. wonder why in shows like all my favorite new york shows like friends seinfeld um sex in the city of course they always um film the side of the city that's like midtown all those areas now that i'm thinking about it like they are more yeah they are more aesthetic but they don't show the whole new york city which is not mm -hmm. not fair to it and it's also like aesthetic. more slow paced so like it's still fast paced but it still feels slower in the sense of like 
you could walk in the middle of the street and you're not like running because you feel like a car is gonna come after you that's why i love that area at least yeah it's a different new york but it's not the new york the whole new york vibe and i feel like even if you live in that area that's not where you'll stay the whole time mm -hmm. so like little shows like that need to like expand a little more very true to give the real new york feel but that's what we're here for <laughs> Uptown New York. <laughs> yeah. We give you guys a little sprinkle of everything, but we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, wait, wait. So we are going to put a TikTok together. Maybe it's good enough for us to show it, because if it's not good enough, we're probably not going to make it. But it's supposed to be based on the theme song, so if it is good, it'll be inserted everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And our page will be right here. And then my page will be there. And then my page will be right here too. Thank, Thank you. you.